guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, today I want to take the LR Super Saiyan 4s into sort of an OG Super Battle Road stage and just show how Power Creep can sort of just like lay waste to previous difficult content, right? Now the final trump card I remember being a, a fairly tough stage because you got a lot of these like fusion characters that were very good at the time that this stage dropped, but... Now that we have access to stuff like the 200% leader skill, um, these characters that are going to be guarding turn one, we got the LR gods, we got the LR Super Saiyan 4s, um, we'll be able to disintegrate this stage, I, I think with pretty minimal effort, honestly. So let's go ahead and jump in um, to final trump card Super Battle Road, and uh, let's see how we do with, you know, a bunch of new characters we're rocking here, right? Um, we have... Uh, Tech Easy A Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. We have the LR Gods. We have the LR Super Saiyan 4s. We just have a lot of these units um, sort of ready to go here. So I will do this. Um, we'll pair up the LR Super Saiyan 4s along with Tech Gogeta. Um, they work really well together. Let's just get rid of Turles. I feel like the safest bet when doing this stage right here is to pretty much just try and get rid of Turles quickly. Um, and then everything else will sort of fall in line, right? It's not like we don't have Tech God Goku on the team or anything like that where we'll want his damage reduction, um, you know, going up against, a, like, you know, these movie boss enemies, so we'll save him for last or something like that. We just want to quit. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> sure, I, I didn't expect him. I, I guess I'm a dummy. Yeah, of course he's going to get one shot by the LR Super Saiyan 4s. But there we go. That's power creep, right? I remember that Turles being a very, very tricky boy, right? You know, doing no item attempts on this stage, you know, you know, per going into this stage before, and like Turles being a major issue. Now we jump in here and we're able to just blow him away. Yeah, dude, double digit damage. <laughs> and then keep in mind, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. If a super attack is going to be aimed at him, he'll just be able to mm, 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 eat that shit up. Oh my god. All right, calm down. Yeah, well. Yeah, here, this is a, a full display of the 200% leader skill at work as we just completely lay waste to what's going on in front of us. Oh my god, that was a, a domination right there is what that was. Um, and it just goes to show how it's like a lot of the content that releases in the game can be pretty tough, you know, at, at, right at the start when it first comes out. But in due time you get a lot of characters who are able to just completely blitz these stages and then just completely take it down, right? And that's sort of what I'm showing right here. You know, the ultimate red zone is really, really hard right now, but I think that's okay. It, it doesn't need to be stages um, that need to be completed immediately, you know, like, oh, we got to be able to destroy it right now, right? Like, I, I, I think it's fine. At the ultimate red zone is a little bit tougher now. I actually do. I want to get the. Let me do this. I do want to get the Super Saiyan 4's um, intro animation at least once in the video. I do have to like because of the fact that they now have active skill skipping and you know the intros can be skipped as well. Um, it, it's there. I feel like they're definitely gonna let these animations really last a while, right? Like some of these intros and active skills. Like, we could see them go, you know, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and beyond, I think, um, for some of these abilities. Um, I am going to keep that one on once per day. I think that'll look pretty good. Okay, so here's a stage where this typically could be a little bit tricky, right? Like, you know, we'd have type disadvantage and stuff like that. But here's the thing, right? Um, the LR Super Saiyan 4s at 24 key, they're super effective against all types. So that will allow us to pretty easily get through right here. Um, and then they also guard on their first turn. So we just have nothing to worry about. So we'll just aim at Skinny Boo right here to make sure that LR Physical Gogeta is not just hit type disadvantage. And then we'll easily be able to cruise through. So again, um, you know, if the ultimate red zone is too hard for you right now, it's not really going to be that big of a deal. Because there's going to be a lot of major powerful releases coming over the next couple months who will be able to disintegrate the event, right? Just look at last year and all the characters who were coming out who were able to lay waste to the god event, right? Characters like Int Broly, um, uh, Dokkan Fest Goten and Trunks, right? Even the EZA, the AGL Goten Physical Trunks, STR Android 18, 
you know, they were dominating in the God event. I expect to see similar things happen this year, right? I expect what's going to happen is even, you know, by the beginning of March, we're probably going to have a lot of characters introduced into the game that will be able to really, really, really just dismantle um, a lot of the difficult content, like, and even the red zone, right? So, like, right now, we know that AGL Evolution Blue Vegeta um, is going to be coming up on an EZA. It, during Battle Hour, they stated that he was the next EZA coming, which doesn't really make a ton of sense because, like, Battle Hour dropped, and then we immediately got um, the three-year anniversary LRs. They were the actual, like, next um, sort of, like, EZA units that, that came out. But what I'm expecting is we'll see him EZA for Saiyan Day. I think that's, a, again, a, a very safe assumption is that he will EZA for Saiyan Day, right? Um, and then with him EZAing for Saiyan Day, we're going to get access to a 170% pure Saiyan lead. And then, you know, once we have that and once we have a, like, a legitimate like team like that you could take into, um, I think, you know, that will help the, a lot of people in the red zone. Because right now, the thing with the red zone is leader skills, I think, are the biggest sort of issue to going in there and winning, right? This is, like, having to have these, like, really good leader skills. Um, actually, I'll put the, we'll put the gods in slot one right here. Um, and I guess we'll aim to take down Goku Black. Um, let me do this right here. I don't want to put, um, that SCR Vegito unit in front of all those attacks by the tech, or the AGL Goku Black at the end right there, but... I mean, regardless, we should be good. This is just another one of these casual... Like, this is a very casual no-item run, right? Like, this stage... Um, like, when this dropped, it was not designed to handle units like this. Like, the LR Gods. Like, the LR Super Saiyan 4s, right? Tech, EZA, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta. Oops. Um, these characters are just a little bit too much um, for this event, right? So, that, that's what allows us to sort of just very quickly sort of disintegrate it. So... Let me know what you guys think of uh, Power Creep. Let me know if you guys think that the ultimate red zone is a little bit too hard or anything like that. I don't have a problem with the difficulty. I think one thing that is a legitimate criticism, though, um, is the three attempts per day. Three attempts per day, I think, is just, like, no fun. Because it's like you go in there and, like, there's, you know, Omega Shenron can lock turn one. So you can go into the Omega Shenron fight um, Omega will lock a weak unit in slot one, then he can super attack, instantly killing you, instantly, you know, you have a dead run on your hands, and you can only do two more runs in that day. It's just a very bad feeling when that happens, and again, that, like, it's happened to me, it happened to me twice in a row the other night, where, um, I brought AGL Super Vegito, who, AGL Super Vegito is able to perform pretty well, um, in the ultimate red zone, right? His damage reduction really, really helps out. Um, and twice he got locked in slot one and then Omega Shenron supered, killed him, and GG. That's it, I lost. Happened twice in a row. So it's like the three attempts per day certainly is something that can be very, very annoying, I think, to have to deal with. So like, I think one thing that they could have done is, you know, maybe give it a big stamina cost now, I think 100 stamina per attempt, honestly, is fine for how difficult it is. But, like, I feel like that would be much better, just like a 100 stamina cost event, than if we would just have these limited three runs per day. I feel like that doesn't really work too well. So, let me know what you guys think of a lot of these major options. Again, of 7th anniversary characters, we are running four in here. LR Super Saiyan 4s, the LR Gods, LR 3rd Anniversary Physical Gogeta ZZA. And then Tech Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta ZZA. And you guys see the way we absolutely just disintegrated this event, right? So if any difficult content comes out and you're free to play or something like that, and you're struggling to take any of these events down, I mean, as time goes on and more of these busted units come out, you will be able to destroy these events, right? Definitely have patience. Make sure you're summoning for really good banners. If you are a global player waiting for the anniversary or waiting to get your hands um, one of these 200% leader skills, I would say, is absolutely the way to go. Um, these 200% leader skills, every unit just begins looking way better and performing at a much higher level than they were previously, right? So, let me know what you guys think. Final trump card, effortlessly beat. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.